Welcome back folks, my name is Last No Meal and today we're gonna be talking about The Witcher or well it is that time of the year again where we are going to talk about Netflix The Witcher because yesterday a teaser trailer for the third season has been released and people have something to say about it. Yeah, the dislike-like ratio just yesterday, 8 hours in, was what it was and today it is even worse. Wow. And honestly, this is not a huge surprise because I was expecting for this reaction from people because whenever you turn on your own community, whenever you start disrespecting your own fandom and people who watch your show or at least majority of people who have cared about the books or cared about the games who now care about your show, when you start going against them and when you start treating the source material as basically nothing, this is the reaction you are going to get and obviously, let's go back a little bit. Because every single time when there was a new season of The Witcher, or well, where that spin-off like Blood Origin, which is nothing, when that came out, it was always the same thing. Oh, we are going to do better, the next season is going to be much better, this time, this time, this time, we are sticking to the source material, this time, we're not gonna be straying away. And it feels to me like every single time when they say that, they stray away further from the books or the source material because it was said the same thing after season one of the witcher has ended honestly season one for me was probably the best uh season of the witcher that netflix is going to put out even with its problems even though it was lacking many things pacing was of nilfgaardian armor and all of that first season was still one of my favorites because the second season i absolutely did not enjoy it it was all over the place and especially as it strayed so far away from the box i just I stopped caring about it to be honest because if you don't respect the source material why would I care or respect your show there is nothing for me to see in it the only thing that I'm going to see in it is the Witcher logo and the characters because of brand recognition because they're obviously using the popularity of the Witcher to have their own Game of Thrones moment because that's ultimately what it was Netflix wanted their own Game of Thrones money, but the problem is, when Game of Thrones was following the books, the show was great. Even Game of Thrones, when the books went off and when the showrunners started writing their own thing, that's when Game of Thrones started going down. And this should have been a lesson to everyone who adapts this sort of source material, especially from the books. Books are very important to people. People grew up with them. Imagine if someone made Dune and it wasn't as good you would be mad. Or at the same time, if Peter Jackson wasn't taking his own work seriously before when he was working on Lord of the Rings, and that's why Lord of the Rings trilogy today still holds and is still viewable and amazing and wonderful because of the amount of passion which was put into this. Every single moment of that source material from Tolkien was taken seriously. And that's the problem with Netflix. They don't take Sapkowski seriously. And also on the other hand, Sapkowski doesn't care all that much, I mean, for as long as, you know, he sold the rights to it. I mean, you have you have people who don't care much about it. He's, keep in mind, he's an old guy. So, of course, he's not gonna be able to stay on top of everything. And ultimately, money is money. And if Netflix gave him a good bag of money, and I'm sure they did, I mean, who wouldn't accept it? But at the same time, this is ultimately on Netflix. Because looking at the third season right now, you can already see that um, there are going to be issues, there are going to be problems. And one of the first things people have noticed in the teaser trailer was the clothes Yen was wearing. You're telling me Yennefer of Wengenberg is going to wear this? No, it's not. And it, this is where those problems come, because none of those writers, and even the showrunner, I will say it, they either understood the source material but are refusing to accept it, and we know that the, the, some of the writers were insulting Andrzej Sapkowski, the books and the games, because they hated them, they wanted their own spin on it, which is ultimately what we got. I mean, uh, Blood Origin was a perfect example of what Netflix actually wants. They want, they want their own generic fantasy show with the logo of The Witcher, and this is the same problem I think Season 3 is going to suffer, especially because you know, behind the scenes, Henry was not happy. You, it, It's going to be so obvious. Because there is not going to be that same passion going from those actors, especially Henry, when it comes to, to his character. And when you have this third season, which looks all fine and amazing on the trailer, you have to understand, in behind the scenes, the background, 
it was hell. It was absolute hell. Because when your main, main person, the one that you put on the poster, the main actor, the main star, quits and leaves, it tells you enough. And Henry was pretty much holding out this show, I'm gonna be honest. Like, at first when they cast Henry Cavill, I was like, ooh, this, this, this is not good, maybe, you know... Are you sure that he's going to be the next Geralt of Rivia? And then afterwards, when he said that he likes the books, that he read the books, that he played the games, and he's a huge fan of The Witcher and Geralt of Rivia, people accepted that because they saw passion. And even though maybe uh, face-wise and body-wise he's not Geralt of Rivia because his Geralt of Rivia is a little bit buffer than Geralt is supposed to be, but still, he portrayed the role well because he cared about it, because he had passion, because he knew the character, he knew the atmosphere he was supposed to be in, and he knew how to act in it, because he understood the books. I'm gonna be honest, Siri and Yennefer, and the, uh, their actresses, they did not. And there was an interview prior to, like, uh, you know, casting being done and ev being everyone being revealed who they're going to play, like... Uh, they said, like, they haven't read the books, and it's going to be okay, because for some actors, they're not going to be huge fans of the show they're in. Like, they don't mean that they're geeks or nerds or anything, for them it's a job. But, at the end of the day, you have to do the job right. And that's the problem, because the showrunner and the writers do not understand it, so obviously they're not going to give you good material, and the overall show is just going to be mediocre it's not going to be great and it's never going to be great especially now with henry essentially killing the show by leaving and i don't blame him one percent and of course there are other issues because when you stray away from the source material you get confused and you could have seen that in the second season of the witcher i'm not going to spoil everything but if you have seen the second season of the witcher you know what i'm talking about decision Yennefer was making, Ciri was making, uh, Geralt was making, the whole arc in the Kaer Morhen with having some stand-in witchers in the background because you didn't realize that these are the last witchers after the burning of Kaer Morhen, after the time of the witchers has passed, but for them they don't care, they had to have some stand-ins, you know, sitting in the background acting like witchers even though there is no logical explanation why they are there because you did not or refused to understand the lore and the source books. And whenever that happens, you have seen the problems it caused in the script at the end of the second season. And now in the third season, they write family. How can they be family after what has happened at the end of the second season? How can that betrayal by Yennefer be now as family. I think they don't even know what they're honestly doing at this point. They're trying to do two things. They're trying to put their own spin into this because they are so busy with putting their own messages in the show rather than focusing on the show itself. And this is where the problem is. Stop sending those messages. Stop thinking about the message. Stop thinking about putting politics into everything and just focus on the show. Just do the show right and you're going to include everyone. And it's going to be fine. But if you force that, and you do, and you mix it up, and you don't know who is who anymore, who does who belong to, which kingdom belongs to whom, who inhabits whose kingdom, you get blood origins. And this is the perfect example why I don't think that Netflix is going to be able to continue The Witcher after Henry leaves. I think there is going to be one season with Liam, and I doubt there is going to be a season after that. It depends, really. But the majority of people who watch the show are just pretty much done with it. Even people who have actively defended the show after Henry left, they're like, ooh, no. So I'm gonna be honest with you, this Witcher show is turning into a telenovela and uh, there is nothing really The Witcher in it. Um, I like how they try to, to put, like, let's say, um, Polish folklore or Slavic folklore or anything else into the show. They try so hard, but ultimately they fail because they do not understand it. And they said, oh yeah, we hired 10 Polish people, we are now inclusive. Okay? Whatever, just focus on the show and maybe next time you're going to do it better because right now people are angry and it's not looking good. Because I was following The Witcher before, like at the moment it was announced I was following it because it was supposed to be a film then it was uh, cancelled and then basically Lauren pitched the idea to Netflix and then it became a series. 
And through this entire time, I was just looking at uh, the showrunner, uh, Lauren Schmidt. She was every single time, she was just saying, Oh yeah, now we're going to do better. Now we're going to do justice. We are only following the books. We're not following anything else but the books. We only stick to source material because everything is there. Those are her words. Why would we, why would we put anything? Because everything is already there in the books. So you lied. And every single season is going to be the same. And this season is going to be the same. And when this season drops, there's going to be interviews where Lauren is going to say, Next time, we're going to actively focus on the source material. Next time. And that's going to be until the show is cancelled or whatever. But, um, ooh, this is not good. So for me, this is going to be, I think, the final season that I'm going to watch. Uh, I'm just going to watch it, honestly, because of Henry. Um, but even that is going to be like, you know, I'm not expecting anything big. And when I'm going into the show, with this mindset, it is really bad. It is really bad. So, uh, I wish them all the best, but honestly, without Henry, they are pretty much done. And this show is going to be done for it, because ultimately, that is their fault. The writers and the showrunner team, the producers team, ran the show into the ground, and it is, it is absolutely their fault that this is happening. But of course, as it is with everything, be prepared for them to say it's your fault. It is the fandom fault. It is these hater fault that our show is not doing well and they are doing everything they can to stop our show from happening. No, it is your your problems, your decisions which led to this point right now. And uh, even Henry talked about it when, he, you know, the interviewer always says like, what do you think about the hate? What do you think about the haters? And Henry basically said there that um, it's not just about hate. You have fans who have passion and who care about that source material, who care about that world, who care about that universe, and they want to have to see it done right. And if you don't do it right, what do you expect? For people to praise you? That's not happening. So yeah, that's ultimately my opinion when it comes to the third season of The Witcher. I cannot wait to review this because I'm absolutely waiting for this season to fall apart when it comes to the, to the, to the story. Just mark my words, it is going to absolutely fall apart. Because going from the costume design, it is the same. They don't care anymore. They just don't care. They're doing a very lousy job. And all of that could have been seen in the Blood Origin, which uh, I think Netflix also wants to forget. Boring, mediocre, bland. That's it, ultimately. So thank you for watching. Tell me down below, what do you think about the season? Will you gonna be watching it? What's your opinion on the show so far? Of course, if you wanna watch it, if you like it, go for it. It's your money, but um, just remember, you could have gotten a much better show than this one. So, yeah. This is LKM signing out. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button if you want to stay updated with the latest Witcher and Cyberpunk news. I will, of course, talk more about this show and as things develop, if there is something interesting for it, I will cover it. But honestly, I just don't care about it anymore. It is just that. And it's all thanks to the producers and writers team. You did a great job. Amazing job. Also, huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters, and if you wanted to support the channel in an extra way, you can go through Patreon or directly through YouTube. This is LKM signing out, stay classy everyone, and bye-bye.